Hello everybody and welcome back to the Pokemon Let's Go Let's Play. Last time, uh, we didn't actually do that much last time, we fought, we fought a robbery and then arrived in Vermilion City. So now this episode, we're going to explore the city and then I think, because I said last time that we was then tackle the gym, but I think we actually need to go onto the SSN first. Oh, so we've got boat shenanigans first. But first off, we need to get our new party member. Yes, we do. Because, well, you can see him or her right there. Wouldn't it be great, because Pikachu, we could, like, give hats and everything. Wouldn't it be great if we could give Squirtle the sunglasses from the anime? God, I wish. Also, obligatory, nice. <laughs> that was not my intention. No, that I was about so... to say, that's... <laughs> a happy little accident. So I'm guessing if you hadn't caught enough Pokemon, uh, she wouldn't give you Squirtle. Hmm. Though, honestly, considering the way Let's Go works, then that it super encourages you to catch every Pokemon you run into... It seems like a... Pretty difficult to to fail, really. Yeah, exactly. Aww. What's your opinion on Squirtle, James? I like Squirtle. I actually think I prefer Squirtle and not the evolutions, but that might just be me. Oh, you're not a fan of uh, War Turtle or Blastoise? Not the worst, but I'm just kind of more just more apathetic towards the others. What about you? Oh, I, I really like Squirtle. I think, like, I think I may actually like him more than Charmander. Oh, yeah, same. Though I think it's weird. I prefer Squirtle to Charmander, but I do prefer Charizard to Blastoise, if that makes sense. Yeah, I get it. Anyway, we've got to give our Squirtle a nickname, so, well, Squirt. Water. Ice. Melt. Melt the Squirtle it is. Oh, no, don't melt the Squirtle. <laughs> oh, God. That's an awful thing to do. <laughs> what have we done? <laughs> oh. Right, thing, now, I do want Squirtle to be one of our permanent party members, which means we're going to have to get rid of somebody, and I've been thinking about it, and I think, unfortunately, Chicken's going to have to retire. Yeah. It's a bit of a shame, because I do like P Pidgeotto, but we are going up against an electric gym next, and having Squirtle in the party already puts us at a disadvantage... We need the least amount of disadvantage we can get. Yeah, I think we'll I think we'll do fine against Surge because we've got Fruit, mm -hmm. and we taught Shield Dig, and if worst comes to the worst, I think Pad can hold his own. Yeah, and Trogdor can do some damage too. Yeah, we've got a real sausage fest up in here actually. Like every, <laughs> all of them are male. All of them are male. I could have wasn't I could have sworn Shield was a girl. Hmm. Oh whatever. All right, Melt. How are you? Where am I? <laughs> <laughs> where, where am I going? Who are you? Yeah. <laughs> Only in the world of Pokemon can a police officer go, Hey, you kids, you look trustworthy. Here, have a new pet. <laughs> I'm sure nothing bad has ever come of this. Never. Oh, you know what? We need to check uh, Squirt, uh, Melt's... Uh, stats and what have you. Like, I want to see what its nature is. I would be very shocked if it's not mischievous. <laughs> that's, what we're, that's what we're hoping. <laughs> Turns out it's the complete opposite. Oh my god, it is mischievous! Yes! <laughs> is that intentional? Do they deliberately make it mischievous because it's like a criminal? It must be. It must be. And it's brave. No. Remind me, what's that? So we've got a rash Charmeleon, a brave Squirtle... And an adamant Venusaur. That honestly kind of matches up with the anime in a it way. It does. How weird. That's got to be intentional as well. I like to believe it's not and we just got super lucky. <laughs> we got the opposite of each one. <laughs> You're going to have a hard time finding one all-powerful Pokemon. I think the multiple legendaries will disagree with you. <laughs> I shall field a whole team of legendaries and I'll be unstoppable. Oh, you're going to be that one dick from the anime. I don't know if you remember, James, but like in the anime, I think it was during like the Advanced series mm -hmm. when Ash got to the Pokemon League. Uh, one of his, I think his name was Tobias. One of his opponents came with like a Latios, which is like what? Didn't he also have a second legendary as well? He had a Latios and another one. Yes, because that's what's really stupid and like bullshit is because not only did like Pikachu fought Latios to a standstill. 
and I think he barely won or something, but basically it was like, okay, that's his first Pokemon down, and then the fucker pulls out a Darkrai. <laughs> And it's what? like, you, cheat, you cheating shit. I'm pretty sure, like, people were so butthurt about Ash losing that league. And I can cut, and I definitely agree why. Because he didn't, because he only lost because his opponent cheated. Because his opponent had all the legendaries. <laughs> yeah, that's a, I think I remember that one as well. That was a one that did not go down very well. Yeah. And Ash has won since then. Yes, he did win the he did win the Alola League, which he deserved really. Mm -hmm. About time. Yeah. Well, the thing is that everyone's all like Ash is like, oh, Ash always loses the league, and it's like everyone always seems to forget that he he, he, he was the Orange Island champion. Yeah, but do people count that one? I count it. I barely remember the Orange Island. <laughs> I think it's, I only know it from um dude with a suede. Uh, yeah. I think watching his recaps and reviews of the old series has made me appreciate it, uh, aspects of it a lot more now that I'm older. Oh, yeah. And actually seen some really good episodes, and then some really bad ones, too. Yeah, it's actually kind of shocking how many really atrocious episodes there were in the uh, in the OG anime. As well as seeing some of the uh, the ones that didn't make it to the West. Yeah, ooh. <laughs> like the one that's like, oh, why didn't this one get through? Points a gun at Ash's face. Ah! <laughs> And then, all, and then we all got confused when Ash like came home and had like thirty Tauros. It's like, when did he catch those? Just got those off screen, apparently. Uh, actually, there's one other one, but I'll save that for when we actually get on the SSN. Oh, okay. Because it involves the captain. <laughs> I love this. Like, who? What kind of monster would sell a Pokemon? And I'm just flashing back to that magic up we bought earlier. <laughs> The magic cup we bought earlier. Technically, Porygon counts because you have to gamble to win him. To win them. It depends on the trainer. I, I think you find that Pokemon are never evil. They just have to follow orders. Oh, yeah, they said that in the anime too, didn't yes, they? Yes, they did. <laughs> like, Ekans and Coughing were like, no, we're not evil. Our masters are. We just do what we're told. <laughs> Which is kind of bullshit when you think of all the awful shit they've done. Yeah. <laughs> Just following orders. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh... You get stuck on the Pokeballs. Oh, God, now I'm remembering the episode when Jesse and James let Arbok and Weezing go, and it was so sad. Yeah. Oh, that... I... As much as I... Well, Team Rocket are pretty much good guys at this point, but it's... I honestly wish they just became full-on good guys. Yeah. I, I kind of get why they haven't. Because I think what would happen is if they became good guys, they would have to retire them from the series. And then they'd have to be replaced with like another co comedic villainous duo. Hmm. And we'd all immediately hate them because, oh, they're not Team Rocket. Yeah. I'm trying to think. There was an episode where um uh, that involved another... Team Rocket villain team. Was it Butch and Cassidy? Butch and Cassidy, yeah. Because yeah. you get it? They're named after Butch Cassidy. And Jess and James are named after Jess, uh, Jesse James. I get it. Shut up, Napa. <laughs> What's going on over here? Oh, someone's very sad. You can't be that sad. He owns land. <laughs> yes, this... This massive square foot of land with just a couple of shipping containers. It's all mine! Love how you're making just one Pokemon help build your <laughs> shit here, asshole. <laughs> a poor little Marchop. And you know he's not getting paid. That's how you know that person's a horrible... <laughs> horrible person. He's a baby boomer. He doesn't believe in paying the younger. <laughs> He's given. He's he's paying that match up in exposure. <laughs> oh, exposure in the Pokemon world. You can never escape it. Yeah. I, in all seriousness, I imagine that empty plot of land's going to be like something that's going to come for like the post game or something. Maybe. We come back. It's exactly the same. Hey James, which Pokemon do we prefer, Growlithe or Meowth? Uh. Oh, it's a cat and dog question. In real life, I prefer dogs to cats, but I feel Meowth's better just because we... I think we're just so used to Meowth. 
I honestly think I prefer Growlithe. I mean, Meowth in the anime, yeah. But just in general Pokemon terms, I'd personally pick Growlithe. True. It's... Go for it. Wait, what? <laughs> we have to catch five Growlithe and he gives, he'll give us something to run on. I mean, I kind of want that, but I also don't want to waste time <laughs> catching Growlithe on screen. I'll tell you what, I'll do that off screen. <laughs> I take it it's like um, Alola when you have to um, when you get Tauros and all those lot. Maybe because I'm curious to see what he gives you. Ah, hmm. uh, here we are, the fan club. Ah, uh, yes, these guys. P the people who love Pokemon a wee bit too much. <laughs> Dial it down a little bit. Gee, why don't you marry if you love it so much? Believe me, I've looked into it. <laughs> I mean, don't forget, in um, Diamond and Pearl, there was like old history books or something that said that back in ancient times, people in Pokemon did get married. Yeah. I, know, I mean, I know there are humanoid Pokemon, like... Like Marchamp, Marchoke, Marchamp, it's still like... Ugh. They're still technically not human. What's a Pikachu set? A clo oh, oh! Another clothing set! We haven't had one of these in a while. Must be a place we can buy them as well. Maybe. <laughs> now you're really styling! <laughs> oh, this is actually looking a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Mm. Okay, maybe that's a bit much. <laughs> Look, we really like Pikachu, okay? <laughs> we got to commit to the style. Alright. Yeah, we'll stick with that for a while. Yeah, what's Cadbury's got? Uh, oh, it, Cadbury's didn't get anything extra. I suppose it would be weird. It's like, let's dress Pikachu up like a Pikachu. <laughs> uh, oh, look, James. It's that ditto cushion again. <laughs> oh, seal. Can we catch it? No, it's not. It belongs to somebody else. <laughs> Asshole. Bull. <laughs> Plus, it's a water. It's a water type anyway, so we can't have it in the party even if we wanted to. Ah, true. Why put that ma that magic carp in the water? Look at it. <laughs> Please put me back in the water. <laughs> yeah, thank God. Like fish, the fish Pokemon don't actually need to. You know, don't need water to breathe. Because that poor Magikarp... I'm pretty sure that Magikarp's dying. Right. Good old Saffron City will be there someday. For, not for a while. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I did always find it weird how in the anime, Ash went to Saffron City super early. Because in the games, like, it's technically like the sixth gym. Yeah. But Ash got like, Ash, that was his fourth badge. Yeah, the anime was a bit timey-wimey, wibbly-wobbly with everything. <laughs> oh look, it's the gardener. I mean, I could just walk around it. I can see a bit of space I could just squeeze past. Why do we walk around the leaf? Around the leaf! <laughs> so yeah, we can't get into the Vermilion City Gym until we speak to the captain to teach us how to cut down a tree. Oh, uh, if only we had some garden shears. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, it's because uh, HMs have been removed from uh, this... Uh, well, actually, since uh, Sun and Moon, really. Mm. Uh, we don't have to worry about teaching a Pokemon cut. That is true. Oh, Squirtle's found something. I think he just likes seeing the... Oh, it's like a... Oh, Aww. this... I, I almost want to, like, release it and be like, go, be free, <laughs> live in the ocean. But no, we need you, Melt. You're gonna, you're gonna go places with us, kid. <laughs> Just once a year? How does it make money? Oh, rich people, yeah. <laughs> when in doubt, rich people. And uh, bailouts from the government. <laughs> hey -o. Topical. Topical. 
Gotta love how this guy doesn't even question why us, a 10 year old child, has a ticket for this luxury cruise. Also, we're on our own. Like, <laughs> surely they'd be like, uh, you need adult supervision. I mean, in this world, it's not uncommon for small children to just be let out into the world on their own. Nah. Also, we've got a Sata set as well. Oh, I guess we may as well. <laughs> if we're going to be... I'll tell you what, whilst we're on the boat... Uh... We could also use it as a cunning disguise when we go up against Lieutenant Surge, because he'll think we're using water types. <laughs> yes, he'll never know. Go, Squirtle! Oh, shit! <laughs> I didn't mean you had to actually commit to it. Ah, oh, Pikachu's got his own little one. It's like a Pokemon version of Jaws. Just a little bit. <laughs> ah, so that's how the SSN goes down in this version. A Do you reckon they ha Do you well, oh, sorry, what were you saying? I was about to say Sharpedo takes it down, but what was you about to say? I was just about to say, do you reckon in this world they have Jaws the movie, but it's a Sharpedo? Yes. <laughs> I believe all of the movies in real life exist in the Pokemon universe, but they're all replaced with Pokemon. Yeah, they're all, yeah, because Unova has like a film studio over there, so I bet they do. <laughs> Free Willy's a whale mar. No, it'd be a whale lord. <gasps> <laughs> Jesus. Oh look, it's our quote-unquote rival, and the actual rival we wish we had. Ah. <laughs> uh, Sorry, this music. Mm -hmm. You can hear the music fine on your end, can't you, James? Yeah, I can. That's good. Oh, such nostalgia. Also, I'm apparently the only one who dressed for the occasion. <laughs> we dressed as the help. Damn, Blue got an invite. Oh, curse that Blue. I love the fact that he's a... Uh... He's still, like, cocky, arrogant blue, but he's not, like, an asshole. Like, from the old days, yeah. Yeah, they struck a good balance with him. Not that blue being an, being an asshole in the old games was a bad thing, far from it. If anything, I still maintain that blue is one of the best rival characters we've had in the series. Hmm. I'm trying to think who else would, like, be on the similar level to him. Like, I would say... I personally really liked Cherin and Bianca from Black and White mm -hmm. because they had a lot of depth to them. Like, they weren't just the rivals. They actually had character arcs of their own. Yeah. But that's also because Black and White's story was... Yeah. And if you count him as a rival, I'd say N as well. Yeah. S what about Silver? Silver was good. Silver was a good rival. If I'll tell you what, let's just let, let's just get our opinions out on all the rivals whilst so, so we've got something to talk about. So Blue, obviously, we both agree is like one of the best ones. Uh, Silver, we agree is good. Yep, I, I enjoyed Silver. It still was one of those where I, I like to hate him at the beginning and then you kind of... I feel like, like if we were doing this, if they made a Silver game now, they'd probably give him a bit more depth, but... Or like, kind of flesh out his turning point... Oh my god, we really are being mistaken for the help. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, I'm a passenger! Oh, that's... <laughs> Squirtle. S Squirtle. Psst. Yeah. <laughs> Squirtle. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I, I like Silver. Silver's a good rival. Mm. What did you think of uh, Brendan and May from uh, Ruby and Sapphire? I'll be honest, I actually kind of forgot about them. <laughs> 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 I won't lie to you. <laughs> You know what? I don't blame you. I think Brendan and May are okay, because they were like, yeah, they're the friendly rivals and that they're not really antagonistic. Mm -hmm. But at the se thing is, though, they were the first ones, so I'm willing to give them a pass. They're the first ones, but they're also kind of out of like all of the more friendly rivals. I'd say they're probably the most boring. Y yeah, you know what, Phil? I'm not going to argue with that. Again, they're not bad. It's just compared to the others, there's not much going for them. So, like, the the upper class that I managed to get on this boat... Has a Pidgey, and that's... <laughs> ...was expecting a lot more, in all honesty. Yeah. Okay, Melts can take a hit, that's good. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, he's got his shell. Yeah. Uh, going back to the rival talk, I will... Because after Brendan the May is Barry, and I'm going to be honest, I do not like Barry. Yeah, I, that, that, uh, that's fair play. I just found him so obnoxious. 
Like, his only personality is, I'm hyper! Yeah. And, he, and he's really got nothing else going for him. Yeah. That, that, like, generation is usually one that people have a lot of, like, distaste for. I don't know why. I think the reason why people really didn't like Gen 4 was because of how slow it was. Hmm. Because it was very slow. Though it's kind of hilarious how it's it's sort of like got maligned when it came out, but now everybody's demanding for like the like the remake. <laughs> to be fair, that's only after Gen 3 got its remake. <laughs> so, so everyone's now gone, now Gen 4! <laughs> and you could make the argument that Gen 4 really needs a remake. Oh yeah. Wasn't it also the one that only had like a, a few fire types? Yeah, that's like the big thing, is that if you don't pick Chimchar, you're kind of screwed out of it getting any good fire types. And it's like, I ne I never used Chimchar, because I was at the point where it's like, oh, another fire fighting type. <laughs> yeah, Ch Chimchar was definitely my least favourite of the Gen 4 starters, but that we've gone completely off topic. <laughs> so yeah, uh, back, to, back to the rivals. Because after them was Cherin, Bianca, and N, which we agree we both really like. Mm -hmm. uh, and then Black, Black 2 and White 2 had... Hugh, I think his name was. Hugh was okay. I didn't hate him, but I didn't exactly like him either. It was definitely a step down from black and whites. Yeah, he definitely was nowhere near as interesting. Oh god, she's got a Pikachu. No, oh, no, no. Melt, get out. No, Melt, no. <laughs> Squirtle, no, you can't take him. Especially at that health. Yeah, that. you know what? We, we made fun of her having a Pidgey, but that Pidgey was holding its own. Yeah. Pidgey was doing quite well. Um, and then after that, it was X and Y. And we had um, the Scooby Gang. Yeah, I'm going to be honest, I barely remember them. Because <laughs> I, I don't I don't know the male rival's name. Because if you play as a girl, you get a male rival. And if you play as a guy, you get a female rival. I think the female rival was called Serena. Mm -hmm. Like, as because that was the character's, the character's name in the anime as well. Uh, oh, god damn it. Uh, Damn paralyzation. But um, they were okay, but none of none of them were particularly interesting. I remember Serena in particular being so boring because she was like, I want to get stronger, and that was it. Mm. It was... There were so many of them, but none of them really had enough built up about them to really stand out. Exactly. Again, I, I, did, I liked them, but I would never put them on like a favorite list or anything. No, same. Oh, this Pikachu's getting on my tits now. <laughs> we should have used fruit. You know, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, and then after that, it was... Uh, Alola, it was... Ah, Bugger, what was his name? How? Oh, God, this thing knows fighting. Oh, crap. <laughs> okay, fruit took him. Fruit took the hits. I think he'll be okay. Hmm. But uh, yeah, How was good. Like he was another nice rival, but then they kind of mixed it up a bit by giving him the Pokemon that was weak to your starter, which is like the first time, the first time they really did that, which was a proper like, wait a second, are we the douchebag rival? Yeah. And that did make uh, the 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 change in mechanic a little bit more interesting. Yeah. And he's fine. Yeah. How was fine. Yeah. I liked How. And then. There was also Gladion in that game, and I, re I really liked Gladion. Yes. Yeah, I agree with that. It was fucking ed edgelord persona. <laughs> God, he was such an edgelord. I know, but that's why we liked him. Edgelord with the edgelord Pokemon. Yeah. Uh, and then we got, we just had Sword and Shield with... What was his name again? <laughs> Hop. 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 Gonna be honest, Hop Hop got done dirty in Sword and Shield. There was a lot more they could have done with him that they really didn't. Hmm. I actually think that God, this bloody Pikachu spamming double team is getting on my nerves. <laughs> it's one of these fights. I hate these fights. This is gonna last a while, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, we're gonna be here a while. <laughs> but um honest like with Hop. I feel like I like the fact that he quickly he quickly develops like a, an inferiority complex because with his big brother being the champion, the strongest trainer in the region, he ha felt like he had a lot to live up to. Hmm. Like, and I remember I really liked how when he loses to Bead in that one fight, 
his confidence is really shaken. It was near enough shattered at that point. Yeah, and I actually really liked what they did with him in the post game, where he properly comes into his own and he gets a legendary, which I like the first rival character to get a legendary. I think that's really cool. And him deciding that he wants to be a Pokemon professor, professor when he gets older. I actually really like that. And I hope that if they if they make like a Sword and Shield 2, like maybe have Sonya be the Pokemon professor, but like Hop's her assistant. Yes. Kind of like with Bianca in um, Black and White 2. Yeah. I really like that. They should do more like, they should do more games like Black 2 and White 2, like direct sequels. Though I suppose with Sword and Shield, they're going to do that with like the DLC. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I think they probably will move away from the free game structure. But they already kind of did, didn't they? Yeah, which I think is good. I think it's for the best that they dropped the free game structure. Yeah. Oh, crap. No, I didn't want to get into another fight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Okay, hopefully the small child won't be as annoying. Sends out a golem. <laughs> And sinks the ship. Okay, Melt, I know you've probably got something to prove, but you are in no position to be fighting that thing. Okay, Trogdor. <laughs> Let's do this. Yeah, now that I think about it, considering Melt's already at level 16, it can't have that much longer until it evolves. No, it'd be next level. Yes, yeah, so we probably will be getting a War Turtle in the same part. Oh... Come on, take down that little manky. Ooh. Did some good damage there. Yeah. We can always rely on Trogdor. Mm. <laughs> Though we definitely need to heal up after this. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. Like, our poor team has taken a pounding. <laughs> yeah, because that bloody Pikachu! <laughs> That Pikachu kind of ruined our team. <laughs> and remember, we've got Raichu soon. Oh, Lord. Well done, Michael. You made the child cry. I've been doing that all game so far. <laughs> You're not special, child. I'm not going to feel bad now. <laughs> Have I felt bad at all this entire game? No. Well, I'm not going to feel bad now. Begin to wish I spent more of my money on medicine than goddamn Pokeballs. <laughs> well, it kind of puts you in that mode, doesn't it? It's like, oh, this game, we need to have as many Pokeballs as we can. And it's like, oh, wait, we need to heal. Uh. Right. I, I Hopefully this woman here... In fact, this must be a family, right? Hmm. So is it like s single mum with like her little t toddler boy and like much older uh, be beautiful daughter or is it like a uh... oh yeah no these are her kids mm. that's hilarious <laughs> and she doesn't want to fight maybe they're not that rich maybe like the daughter just loves dressing up maybe hello council president what are you doing here no he's a cop no oh. wait, 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 wait there are police in this world that aren't officer jenny Oh, they're agents of Officer Jenny. Oh, yeah. Uh, bonjour, I'm the waiter on the ship. I have such an outrageous accent. The other sailors didn't have French accents. Why is... <laughs> I, lo I love how he acknowledges that we don't talk. That's kind of hilarious. I get it. I'm assuming he's uh, an immigrant from Kalos. Ah, uh, yes. Also remember, guys who are going to be playing this, you need to get all the items from this from this area because, well, you won't be going back to the SSN after this. And of course, after I waste a bunch <laughs> of potions. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that wasn't in the original game, to be fair. Or was it not? What did she? What? When, when was the gen that introduced? Um, not just Nurse Joy's healing you, but having like specific areas where an NPC would heal you up as well. I honestly don't know. This line interests me. Like she says that we look like her brother, so I'm like, I wonder 
Is that just a bit of flavor text to just fle to flesh the character out a bit, or is it possible that? Because my immediate reaction is that like maybe oh we remind her of Red, but Red never had an older sister. That we know of. Mate, we played as Red, <laughs> like. It was a one-bedroom house with just him and his mum. Maybe she was living with the dad. Oh, uh, oh, that's just now. I'm sad. <laughs> no, you don't know. They might have to live in different areas because of work. Hmm. <laughs> or maybe she's like because Blue had an older sister. Maybe that was her. Maybe. That's why he was on the ship to say goodbye. That movie burned. Yeah, not. Melt's not having a good day. Oh, poor Melt. <laughs> I feel like this happens whenever we get a brand new Pokemon. It, it feels like they tend to get their ass kicked in like the first several battles. They get better. Yeah, like, do you remember, like, Shield struggled so much? So badly. <laughs> and they took down the Raticate like it was nothing. Yeah, they, exactly. They got better. Melt needs to learn some stronger water moves because I can't keep relying on Bubble. Yeah. It's like, it's like with um, Trogdor needs to learn a stronger fire type move than Amber. Yeah. Okay, this last tackle. Did he just use a full restore? What? Did he, he just use a goddamn full restore? Oh, I am so angry. I'm sorry, that's... Those don't usually get used this early in the game. Well, you know why it is, right? It's because he's rich. I at least let save up for the very late game post game to just go, yeah, full restores, why not? See, when we do it, it's okay. Yeah. When the game does it, it's cheating. It's like, no, you can't do that. That's my thing. Oh, oh. Okay, no, Melt, you're out. Sorry. Oh, poor Melt. Um. Yeah, shield. <laughs> wow, what a dick move. <laughs> I have the power of money. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Could only afford one full restore, I see. Yeah. He's not that rich. He's rich enough to look fancy, but he's not rich enough to buy loads of crap. And he's an asshole as well, so I don't feel bad about beating him. To be fair, as soon as he used that full restore, it's like, well, I have no sympathy for you. It's like, uh, damn millennials. <laughs> With their avocado toast. Yep, let's heal. <laughs> Hey, do I look like your brother again? I need healing. There we go. And behind door number six. Oh, that, that I do not like that pose. Oh God! <laughs> it's the you remember in Avatar when um when Zuko <laughs> goes into um, Sokka's <laughs> tent <laughs> and he thinks his. I do know exactly what you mean. Yeah. <laughs> That's what was put, and he's like, "Oh God, I'm sorry." Draw me like one of your Kalos girls. Because <laughs> oh. there is an ocean wreck in Gen Three, I think. That's the Titanic. Oh God. <laughs> I can't remember the ship's name. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Right, he's either got water or fighting types. Sends out Arcanine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nope, that's a slowpoke instead. That'd be fine. What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> Sends out Psychic. It, it, it means that it's part Psychic though, so it probably does. Mm. Or it'll just yell at me. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a a slowpoke growl isn't exactly menacing, is it? Slow. 
It's just yawning at you. <laughs> <sighs> oh, damn. Hey, man, psychic attacks, they're strong. Yeah, that's true. Oh, that thing's got some beefy defense. Let's, uh, let's use bubble. Let's see if its special defense is lacking. Okay, let's see how this goes. Yeah, I did not think that was going to do much. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, I re it's a, it is not a good debut for Melt. <laughs> Melt is just getting pounded. Oh, 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 no. Don't set... Oh, no. What? Well, what is, um... Oh, crap! No, Poison's weak to Psychic! Yep. <laughs> as soon as you went onto Pan, I'm like, no, no. <laughs> I keep forgetting that. Oh, god damn it. Oh, damn! <laughs> yeah, you're forgetting. Pad's strong. <laughs> Naughty Slowpoke. <laughs> it's a bit, yeah, the vine with animation is a bit like, no. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. There we go. See, this guy understands, like, healthy, good competition. Hmm. He knows the right etiquette. Y yeah, that's the word, etiquette. Right, I think I'm going to swap and melt out for a bit. Yeah. <laughs> Poor melt. <laughs> I'll let him run around outside his Pokeball, but like he's not going to be on the front lines of battles for a while. Yeah. That's the point, actually, because like the gym after Surge is Erica, which is Grass, so Squ Melt's not going to really get to... Do much at all. They're not, they're not going to get to be sent to stage for a while. Uh, would you like to re rephrase that, sir? Yeah, I'm going to need some better context. <laughs> And that pose is not helping. Oh, thank God we did send him out. Yeah. If I remember correctly, I'm pretty... Yeah, we d yeah we made sure Cadbury's knew a fighting type move and Magnemite steal now, so... Yep. That fight went so much quicker <laughs> than the last five. <laughs> so, sir, would you care to... Re to rephrase that... You need to get back to work, mate. <laughs> like, surely, like, as an engineer on a ship, you're doing important things. Like, he was probably in the middle of, like, fixing something, and he's like, oh, hang on, I'm going to battle this kid. <laughs> what is wrong with you, sir? What is wrong with you? And you need to vary your team. But, but I like Magnemite. So do I, but I wouldn't have a whole team of them. <laughs> At least he didn't have three. He's like, look, I've got three Magnemites. Okay, why not just have a single Magneton? Oh, yeah. You've got to wonder, like, when they were first designing it. Because everyone always bangs on about how, like, oh, the Pokemon designs nowadays are so bad. Like, they're nowhere, nowhere as good as Gen 1. It's like, let's not forget that when they were, like, okay, what's going to be Magnemite's evolution? What if... We took three of them and stuck them together. Brilliant. That's why I like Magnazone more. <laughs> yeah, Magnazone really grew on me after that Giratina movie. Magnazone. Yeah, exactly. Plus, it's legitimately good. I think I used one as part of my uh, Pokemon X, uh, Pokemon Pokemon Y team for when I fought the league. They're tough. Like, they're tough buggers. And we now have a War Turtle. Oh, yeah, I was like, oh, look, Water Turtle, nice. Also, I remember in the anime, just going on to voices for the Pokemon, I still remember when you showed me the Reggies and their voice acting in the <laughs> the movies and how terrifying they are. Yeah. <laughs> Reggie eyes, Reggie eyes. Like a blooming Dalek. Or Reggie Rock. That's like, what the hell is it even doing? The way War Turtle was looking around, I just imagined it thinking, why did everything get smaller? <laughs> uh, no, no, Melt, you just got bigger. I have? Yeah, you've evolved. I have? Oh, are we going to be in a fight? Oh, what a shock. Just wait until you get two giant cannons coming out of your shell. 
must be a weird evolution because he has nothing metal on him and then suddenly he's got two cannons coming out of his flesh. And yet not part steel. Yeah. Okay, Pikachu's going to make short work of this poor Psyduck. That Psyduck is not prepared. <laughs> oh god, not help that use Thunderbolt. <laughs> that poor Psyduck. <laughs> I know we discussed this in the last episode, but I think Psyduck really does need like a third evolution. It does. Funny enough, I was actually watching the uh, the previous episode of the Wild a while ago, and I talked about. I think it was on. I think it was a, a Twitter account that talks about like lost Pokemon designs. Oh, I know exactly what you're talking about. And if it did bring up there was meant to be like a third. Uh, it was like an in between between Psyduck and Golduck. Ah. And yeah, it sadly never saw the light of day. There's a f I, I highly recommend that Twitter account, by the way, if, you, if you're not part of it, because there's some really interesting designs that got lost. It's like Dr. Lava or something. Hmm. I believe that's it. Or once that, um, we're, we're meant to be in first gen, but then obviously we're used for later generations as well. Hmm. Like there was a shark one for gen one, and then it's very obvious that it became Sharpedo. I think we could probably do with a few more shark Pokemon. I'd like to see a Pokemon based a Pokemon based on like a hammerhead shark. Oh yeah. <laughs> or like a proper like I mean Sharpedo's cool and all, but imagine like a Pokemon that's uh based off one of those proper great whites. Also, I don't know why I flashed up on the screen with Animal Crossing New Leaf. <laughs> I'm not even playing at the moment. No, that's that wasn't you. That's the other James. I'm oh, <laughs> I was about to say because I'm like, <laughs> hang on. <laughs> James, James is currently playing Animal Crossing. No, I'm not. No, I'm not about the computer. <laughs> Just having an existential crisis. <laughs> I mean, I have my Switch on standby, and I was playing Animal Crossing, but I'm not playing it now. <laughs> Imagine if you were. If like, and I just look up, I'm like, hang on a sec. Are you playing Animal Crossing during this? <laughs> no. no. Oh, that that would be a dick move. And like I can hear in the background. <laughs> Pokemon cameos in Animal Crossing. I'd be down with that. I'm trying to think how that would work because it, it, I don't know. The idea of Animal Crossing characters being Pokemon trainers just seems really weird to me. Oh like, no, no, not they're... Pokemon trainers. Just straight up the Pokemon are in Animal Crossing. Oh, I see. Leave. Right, like as villagers. Yeah. yeah that... That'd be neat. That's why we need mod support so we can put them in. Oh, that's never gonna happen. <laughs> I know. Although saying that there is um a PC game that's pretty much Animal Crossing. That does not surprise me. Uh, you, you know what? Because nothing's really going on at the moment, we may as well bring this up. It's a little bit old, but like I just like to get some quick impressions from you. What's your thoughts on Temtem? Oh, that's the uh, the new Pokemon-like game, isn't it? Yes. In early access, um, it looks interesting. I like the idea of like this like big multiplayer sort of game. The designs I've seen so far, I don't know. They don't seem to grab me. Like the Pokemon designs to usually do. Hmm. But I I need to. I'll probably give it a try one day soon. Because it's in early access, but there's a fair amount to do. Yeah. Uh, my opinion on Temtem is that it's great that they've done, like, the Pokemon MMO that everybody wants. Because I, I legitimately don't think Nintendo's ever going to do it. No. At the same time, though, like, I've seen, like, bits of the gameplay and, like, the opening sections. And it's like, you know, you start off as, like, a kid in the town who wants to become, like, a Temtem trainer or something. You've got a rival. There's a professor who sends you on your journey. There's, like, three different creatures that you can pick to start with. And I'm like, this is literally... Okay, this isn't just, oh, it's like Pokemon. This is Pokemon. It's the PC Pokemon game. And it just feels so bereft of its own ideas. It's like, let's just make a Pokemon. And it's like, but you have, you have nothing else aside from that. Why would I play not Pokemon when I have actual Pokemon? Mm. I think it's for the, it's just for people like who wanted it on PC and be able to do a lot of stuff with it. But the, like, as you say, it doesn't really have its own identity outside of, look, it's Pokemon, but not on a Nintendo console. 
Yeah, exactly. Like, it doesn't really have anything that's uniquely tempting. Yeah. Again, I'll, I'll, I'll give it a try. I'll probably give it a try one day, but... I... I especially don't think it's the, the Pokemon rival that a lot of people are trying to say it is. Yeah. Like, when it first... Ca well, perfect example. When it first came out, people were going, Oh, yeah, this is the Pokemon rival that Pokemon needs. And then it kind of just talk about it died very soon after yeah exactly like it, it got its initial hype and then it quickly sort of died down because the sad reality is you know as much as sword and shield was criticized for like you know legitimate reason you know that's the sort of thing it's very easy to mix up the legitimate criticisms for sword and shield with the really stupid ones mm -hmm. but unfortunately despite the actual criticisms that sword and shield deserved it still went on to be like the best-selling game in the entire franchise yeah and it's still good. It's it's decent. Yeah. I hope they bring the raid battles back, or at least a version of them for later series. Because I actually kind of like them. I would just like to see the Mega Pokemon game with the same sort of uh, development time as something like Super Mario Odyssey or Breath of the Wild. Yeah. Could you... Im I know this is something that also people bring up. Could you imagine a Pokemon game that's like in Breath of the Wild... Just big and open-ended. I don't know if I'd want a game like Breath of the Wild in that it's this huge open area, but I do like the idea of a Pokemon game that lets you do things out of order. Mm. Like, it'd be very tricky to make, but imagine, like, a, a version of Pokemon where you could tackle the gyms in any order. Yeah. Kind of like what, um, oh, which was the the anime that was based on Red, um, Red and Blue. Oh, Origins. Origins. And they actually, like, when... He goes up against Brock. He's like, oh, this is the, your first gym, okay? And he picks out, out of like a, six Pokemon, he picks out two. Yeah, I, I, that was one of my favorite bits about Origins. Like, it really sort of it answered the question that we all sort of had. Because we were all like, hang on a second. Surely not everybody goes to Pewter first, right? And then it's like, no. Mm. That's why the gyms actually have different teams, depending on what order you face them in. And I'd like to see a game like that. That would be cool. I feel, hmm, maybe one day, maybe after... After Sword and Shield's done and they're working on the next Pokemon game, maybe we'll get some variation. I really hope so, because as much as I love Pokemon, it does sort of, uh, uh, like, having, as someone who has been playing it since the very first set of games, it does sort of, like, okay, we're still doing the same routine, like, mm. like, Sun and Moon broke away from it, like, a little bit, which was great, but then it kind of just went back to it with Sword and Shield. Yeah. Or at the very least, if we're going to have it, let's have... A better story like Black and White. Yeah, Black and White story still has not been topped for me. Mm. I wish... Uh, I mean, Sun and Moon... I, I really like Sun and Moon's story, in all honesty. I thought that was... A, I thought oh, that yeah. had like a pr pretty decent plot. And Sword and Shield massively drops the ball. Yeah. One day. But I, I honestly think Temtem is not... Is not that... <laughs> It's, it's a nice idea. It needed a bit more of its own ideas as well as the Pokemon ones. I'm honestly kind of shocked. I don't know the legality of it all, but considering how much... Temtem looks like Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, I'm, on, I'm honestly a little bit shocked that Nintendo didn't have grounds to sue. Yeah. I mean, they probably don't have a leg to stack because, it, you know, it's not got the Pokemon brand on it. Mm -hmm. So that's probably why it gets away with it. But, like, it just... Not... You can't, I can't even say Old Temtem is inspired by Pokemon. No, it just straight up copies. Mm. So as you can make the argument that Nintendo owns the Pokemon brand, like so obviously how the Pokemon look and everything, the style maybe, but stuff like the turn-based battles and being ambushed and everything and the fighting styles and all this lot, you kind of can't have a copyright on. Yeah, I guess if Temtem... Like, it's, it's three starters were, like, very clearly resembled Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle, then maybe. Yeah. I should... Do, what... You said that you watched some of the earlier stuff. Did they look... What did they look like, the three... Uh, the starters? Gonna be honest, don't even remember. <laughs> I'll tell you what they were. Boring is what they were. I don't... To be fair, I didn't look at them for very long, but none of, none of the designs that I saw stuck in my mind. Yeah, that's kind of a similar thing to me. And there's meant to be a there's meant to be quite a few. I'll call them what they are. They're Pokemon clones. 
There was there was one that actually looked like an old Game Boy game. But it was like it was it wasn't Yokai Watch, but it was involving demons. But it was done in the style of Pokemon. Doesn't ring any bells, I'm afraid. Is this is this a recent game? No, this was a few about a year or two ago. It was it was on Kickstarter. I remember that, and I yeah, it did pass its Kickstarter goal. Oh, I think I I don't remember its name, but I remember seeing articles about that and people going, "Oh, is this the Pokemon Killer?" And it's like, no. can we please stop? Can we please stop calling games the Pokemon Killer? It's not gonna kill Pokemon. Yeah, that's like imagine if like a new animation studio opened up. And within, like, a month of its first movie coming out, people going, is this going to kill Disney? It's like, no. Can we just get rid of that whole phrase entirely, please? It's just... You know products can coexist, right? Yeah. It's so stupid. It's like back in the day with, um, with MMOs. Like, is this the WoW killer? And it's like, no. <laughs> it never works out to be the WoW killer. The thing is, though, like I've, I also very highly doubt that we're, the people that make these kind of products are ever thinking, "Oh yeah, we're going to take down WoW with this." Like I, I don't think the people making Temptin were thinking, "We're going to take down Pokemon with this." <laughs> Pokemon's going to be running away crying once this game comes out. Like they're probably just like, "Oh, let's just make, let's just make a game." Yeah. Another bloody full restore. <laughs> you take down my Mankey. You full restore your Sandshrew. What are you, an asshole? Yes. Oh. Oh. We'll say goodbye to you, Sandshrew, then. <laughs> I win! <laughs> yeah, and you don't have enough money to buy some revives, do you? Could you imagine that? Oh, God. Like, if they... If trainers started using revives... I think we'd all actually scream. <laughs> It's like, okay, we've thought of some new difficulty options. Okay, what are you going to introduce? Trainers can use the revives. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, you know what? A difficulty option would actually be welcome. Mm. I think that would actually be really cool. But I feel like revives would not be the way to add difficulty. That would just make it tedious. <laughs> I, I legit think that Pokemon should start incorporating uh, difficulty options. I'm not entirely sure how you would scale it, but it would certainly be neat. At the very least, I think it would be... They'd never do it. But one thing I think would be really cool would be if they introduced, like, a Nuzlocke option. Actually made it official where you could have, like, a, like a Nuzlocke save file. I'd never use it, but I'm, I, know quite f I know quite a few people would. Oh, no, I... I did I, I don't think I've ever tried a Nuzlocke challenge, and I don't think I ever will. I don't. I don't think I ever would either. I would just be so. I, I, I'd lose one Pokemon and just turn the game off. Mm. I especially don't get it when people do Nuzlocke challenge for like their first time playing the game. It's like you got all this new stuff, and you're only going to be doing the Nuzlocke. The captain's having a bad day. I'm going to be honest. If you're the, if you're going to be like a ship captain. You really don't want to suffer from seasickness. You know who actually did um, suffer from seasickness? Who? Uh, Horatio Nelson from <laughs> back in the Victoria, uh, Victorian Napoleonic. <laughs> God, James, get your history right. But yeah, uh, Battle of Trafalgar. He actually did suffer from seasickness. Huh? Was he a good captain? Well, he won us the Battle of Trafalgar, so. <laughs> Oh, what? No, I wasn't prepared for this! <laughs> and this is what happens when you don't know your history, Michael. Mate, <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's like, wait, you don't know about the Battle of Trafalgar Square? No, Pokemon battle! No, not Trafalgar Square, Trafalgar. <laughs> okay, look, history was never my strong suit. <laughs> oh. Like, okay, true true story. Yeah. I did, I did consider studying history at a GCSE. Yeah, GCSE level. Mm -hmm. uh, wait, no, no, no. Like we had to study history at GCSE. Uh, a level, do you mean? Yes, I could, I was considering studying history at A level, and my history teacher kind of went. Mm. 
she sort of like very gently talks me out of it. She's like, it's not your strongest subject, Michael. I think you would legitimately struggle. And I am actually kind of glad she talks me out of it. Hmm. What did you take instead? Uh, English, media studies, drama, and IT. Yeah, I think you found your stronger subjects there. <laughs> yeah. I should specify, it was uh, when it came, uh, English was both English literature and language. Ah, right. So yes, I, stu I studied a language I already spoke. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. All right, let's see how tough your Eevee's got. Okay, uh, that oh, shut me up. Oh, no! <laughs> that shut me up. Maybe should have used the seismic toss. <laughs> <laughs> Shield's getting pumped. No shield, you are getting out. <laughs> No, I could take it. No, you can't, Shield. Get back. Shield? Shield, no. <laughs> shield, yes! <laughs> yeah, could Shield be like the Vegeta of our team? <laughs> Ow. <laughs> and then there's, there's Fruity just like, sup. <laughs> oh god, it knows a fighting type move. You know, as much, even though I say like, oh, this game's like so much easier compared to like the main series, it, 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 at times it's like, oh no, actually, it's kind of tough. Oh, uh, yo. This is not a good episode for us. We're getting our asses kicked. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think we're about to lose fruit. No, it's okay. It's it's still good. It's still good. Yeah, I got cocky. That's what happens. <laughs> okay. It's not the end of the world. Our team's a little spent. Here's the At least we've got a full party of six. Like, J James here, he's got... He he's on, it like, two badges like we are, yet his team consists of only three Pokemon. I mean, God, James, get it together. You're dragging the James name. Somehow you are worse than the criminal James. <laughs> this Eevee is <laughs> tough. Dear God. I mean, it is the other, um... Face of the... Well, face of this series, the Let's Go series, so... They made him a bit tougher. I know, but like... <laughs> It shouldn't be this tough. Oh, how tough could it be? I'm losing. <laughs> and we still got another Pokemon after this one. And this and this Eevee hasn't even evolved yet. I don't think it can. Like in a Wait, it does. Or at least it not won't. in or at least not in um Let's Go Eevee. I think it's the same as Pikachu, it doesn't uh evolve. He he's gonna go the entire game without evolving his Eevee. Or at least in Let's Go Eevee, like you can't evolve your one, so maybe it's the same. Huh. I mean, I get it, in a way, but... That'd be so weird. Also, our poison attack is doing so much more damage than the attacks we've been using against this thing. Yeah, that's why I said, that's why I said Panda. Oh, and now Eevee's attacks are missing. Yeah, Pad really should have been the first. Pad's, pr like, the proper MVP of this team. Oh, yeah. Pad's holding this team together. <laughs> Which, again, matches the anime, because in, like, like, if I'm remembering, like... Bulbasaur kind of became like the de facto leader of like Ash's Pokemon, mm. like when he uh, left a bunch of them at Oak's lab. Yeah, it... I hated that he got rid of Bulbasaur. He didn't get rid of Bulbasaur; he just left him at home. Like it's not like when he, uh, like you know, abandoned all of his other Pokemon. <laughs> Here's the thing, though: like he never like abandoned any of them, but it's just always infuriating that like all his really good Pokemon he kept giving away. Or like letting go. Like remember Primeape? He could have done mm. so much with Primeape, but he had him for like two episodes or something, and then gave him away to this other guy. Yep. And in Team Rocket, actually looks after their Pokemon. Ah. Uh, okay, let's let's nip it in the bud. Ah, I see what you did there. <laughs> oh god, damn it! <laughs> oh no. Oh, shit. 
It's okay, it's burned, it's gonna lose health more than us. Or not. God, burn is useless. Well, burn that does have the side effect in that it uh, also lowers the Pokemon's attack. Hmm. I always preferred using Stun Spore or Poison Powder, or those equi the equivalents of those ones, because it. Stun Spore is good for when you're trying to catch Pokemon. Yeah. Oh dear God. Oh. Oh no. I am not having my Charmeleon lose to a goddamn Oddish. <laughs> okay, do we have any... We only have Potion. Oh, no, we have a Super Potion. I'd say use the Super Potion. Yeah. I learnt this from the Fool Restore, assholes. That doesn't look like acid. That looks like full-on fire coming towards us. <laughs> <laughs> Oddish, use flamethrower. I'm sorry, what? Ah! <laughs> you know, now that I think about it, I don't think we've ever had, like, a fire grass Pokemon, have we? No, we haven't. We should have a fire grass Pokemon. I'm actually going to look at that. I don't think we have. I've seen... No, I've seen mock-ups of one that was, like, a burning tree. Which is, like... It's a terrible, terrible fate for a Pokemon. My life is suffering. <laughs> Existence is pain. Oh. Sometimes you have to laugh at death and cry at life. Also, I don't know if you saw it earlier, but like when the rival James was like, Wow, you're really strong. It's like, so are you. Your Eevee and Onish were really tough. Yeah. Your Eevee and Oddishty wiped out the team. How was it that his Pidgeotto, which was a second stage Pokemon, went down super easy, but Eevee and Oddish, both first stage Pokemon, were the toughest parts? I don't know, but that James is going places. I feel like it's payback for us ditching our Oddish. <laughs> All the Oddishes are connected, you see. Impart your wisdom onto Pikachu. The first time, your secret technique sucks, then. Well, he said that, like, this, the te technique's only supposed to be taught, learnt, uh, taught to humans. Please, cut down my plant. You know, we have a fire type. They probably could have done that pretty easily. Yeah, we could have just burnt the bush. You know, Yeah, we could have burnt the bush. Like, Pad could have probably cut it down with Razor Leaf. Shield could have chopped it in half. My favourite one is when Cypher doesn't have cut and he can't <laughs> cut down <laughs> the leaves. For those who can't remember, Cypher literally has swords for arms! <laughs> Or my other favourite is like, Cypher hugs you. I'm like, that sounds horrifying. Oh. <laughs> or like, uh, when uh, you, you, know, you remember like Pokemon and me from like X and Y where you can like pet the Pokemon. Yeah. And like, you then get like Slugma and Makargo, which are just made of lava. <laughs> oh, it's coming towards me and hugging you. Oh dear God! <laughs> just nothing left. Oh my God, so the, the captain... Is using a sword. <laughs> that sounds awesome. Yeah. Imagine him using like a sword cane or something like that. I mean, he's more awesome than the the anime captain of the SSN. It's oh you oh yeah that guy. <laughs> it just it's like now everyone don't panic and then next see him going down in one of the lifeboats. I'm just testing out the lifeboats, <laughs> just leaving everyone there. Yeah, it's like, what an asshole. <laughs> now reenact the Titanic bit. I was trying really hard not to reference that, but it's almost impossible, isn't <laughs> it? <laughs> Pretty much. Every now and then I fall apart And I need you there tonight I don't know the rest of the words. <laughs> uh, 
That wasn't the song I was making a reference in from Titanic, but yeah. That's the song. That's, that is the song that plays in Titanic, right? No, it's um, my heart will go on. That's what I was singing, wasn't it? I don't remember those lyrics. <laughs> this is how much we know of that song. Nothing. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna have to look it up. It's gonna bug me. <laughs> it's gonna bug me forever. Turns out you've you've done lyrics from a completely different song. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> oh no, I was no, I got it now. I was singing Total Eclipse of the Heart. That's it. I was about to sound like I, that doesn't sound like. <laughs> so how does the Titanic song go? Oh god, don't make me sing it. <laughs> uh, no, I'm not even gonna bother. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> I feel like it, it, that would drive everyone away. Like, oh god, no. <laughs> Forgot to mention as well, like, they were talking about, like, oh, we're, like, we're getting so seasick, but the ship wasn't even moving. <laughs> now it's left. You know what? I feel ripped off. Like, we got tickets to go on a cruise ship, but we didn't actually get to go on the cruise. I wonder where it's going. Well, if it's, if it's anything like the anime, that thing, that thing's fucking sunk. <laughs> Turns out it is the sunken ship from Gen 3. <gasps> It's not. Wait, wait, what the hell? Uh, hello? James, you recognise her, right? I'm gonna turn around again. Wait. It's Mina from Sun and Moon. Wait. That's really cool. Huh. That I was not expecting. What a strange cameo! Yeah. Oh no! no. Uh, oh me... no! I'm gonna go heal first, and then I'll do that. And then I think, uh, yeah, let's. Oh, for God's sake! I just want to end the episode. I love it if he cut down the the bush just then. <laughs> yeah, no, we <laughs> we get there, and he's like, "Oh, you're just in time. I cut down this bush for you." <laughs> Why would you do that? I just realised, because we walked past Officer Jenny on the way here, it's like, Hey trainer, how's that squirrel I get? What the hell? <laughs> you evolved it already? What, like it's hard? I'm sorry, I just need to go rethink my life. All right, let's go battle Mina, and then we'll call the episode there. Yeah, I think that'd be a nice little ending to the episode. And then it turns out like her Pokemon at level 50. It's like, you should not be battling her at this point. <laughs> then why did you give me the option? Why would you do that? That'd be a cruel joke. Turns out Mina is the new rival of this game. <laughs> Can you imagine if you went back and she just disappeared? Like you only had that one chance. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, I'm scared. And she she actually pulls out like fairy types from Gen Seven. It's like, <laughs> wait, no, hang on, hang on. <laughs> wait a second, I thought Jigglypuff was a normal type. Yeah, we all thought that, but uh, apparently not. Well, good for you, you're wrong. That's alright, double kicks do for- oh, Paul. Uh, you know, after the fight with James, this fight's going quite easily. This is so cathartic. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, ah, oh, this was so nice, a fight that's not going sideways. To be fair, Mina's probably holding back. Well, she said he missed the mime. <laughs> Well, don't forget, she's a trial captain in a uh, in a uh, Alola. That's true. Well, that's a thing. What's your feelings towards the new version of Mr. Mime in Sword and Shield? Oh, Mr. Rhyme? Yeah. Mr. Rhyme's great. Mm. It's pre-evolution, less so. Like the uh, Galar Mr. Mime is just looks a bit weird to me. Mm. But, like, Mr. Rhyme, its evolution is great. 
I still haven't used it in the game, but it's like it's. I just like its design. Mm. The tap dancing, everything. Tap dancing sort of thing, and uh, ice psychics are pretty unique typing, I think. Actually, wait, no, because we have Jinx. Mm. But we don't have we don't have many ice psychic types, so yeah, it's fine. Ah, the team's getting stronger. Ah, I see what you did there, Mina, because I used to Pikachu. <laughs> well, isn't this shocking? Do you reckon if we said that to Surge, he'd just punt us? <laughs> He's like, no, get out. You don't, I'm not even giving you the badge now. Even if you win. <laughs> oh, my God. I refuse to... Oh, she's just kidding. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, I'll tell, you, I'll tell you what, we're going to call it there now, because this episode's already gone on for stupidly long. I was about to say, how long has this episode gone on for? Oh, dear God. <laughs> it's going to be over an hour. So uh, let's call it there. So uh, we checked, went to the SSN, did a bunch of stuff on there, got ourselves a new secret technique. Next time, we will most definitely be battling Lieutenant Surge. So this is Michael Beckwith saying goodbye. This is James Hall saying goodbye. And we will see you next time. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>